Hello, bonjour, hola. I'm Nancy, recording from Paris. It is Wednesday, October 1st, and in today's video, I will give you a tour of Gladius Playground to help you get started with using our Universal Speech to Text API. In fact, as you may have noticed from the text appearing on screen, in a way, I am already giving you a demo of Gladius real time transcription capabilities. In this transcript, I'm highlighting some of our audio intelligence add ons, such as dynamic language detection, named entity recognition, partials, custom vocabulary and spelling, and one that I'm particularly excited about sentiment analysis. All of these features and more are available to test for free in the playground on up to 10 hours per month of uh, your own audio. So instead of boring you with a lengthy tutorial, why don't I just go ahead and show you how I configured this short transcription, as well as some additional bits and bobs working behind the scenes. To generate a live transcript like the one I just showed you, you're going to want to go to app.gladia.io and click real time transcription. Now you have the option to record your own voice and just start speaking into your microphone, but let's be real, this is every demoer's worst nightmare. So what we're going to do is upload a file instead. With this option, once you launch your session, Gladio will transcribe your audio using our real-time ASR model as if it was actually live. So you've uploaded your file, and from here, what you're gonna want to do in the right-hand panel is select the configurations that you want for your transcript. The first thing that I did is I went and enabled multilingual switching so that I could say hello to you in English, French, and Spanish. Now, because I already knew the languages that I was going to be using, I did not turn on automatic language detection as using the manual selection tends to lead to better accuracy results. But if you have a use case where you don't necessarily know what languages uh, your speakers are going to be using, you can enable automatic language detection and Gladia will identify the languages that your speakers are using in the audio. Next, we have our speech threshold and endpointing settings. First, with the speech threshold, we can determine the minimum audio volume at which the audio will be considered as speech as opposed to just background noise or silence. This comes in particularly handy when working with noisy environments, audio from real life situations where there are other people speaking in the background uh, or there are noises in the background. And in that case, you can set the speech threshold higher in order to make sure that only the target speaker's voices are captured. So for example, if one of my dogs was acting out and barking while I'm trying to record, I'd be tempted to set the threshold to a little bit higher, but luckily my dogs respect the sanctity of the demo, so I was able to get away with just using the default settings. Next, the endpointing setting detects silence to determine when a speaker has stopped talking and uses it to break up the transcript into segments, which is convenient for having correctly formatted text for reviewing call transcripts, for example, or for live captions. Or if I had a tendency of using very long run-on sentences where a pause to breathe doesn't necessarily mean that I finished, I could use the maximum duration uh, without endpointing setting, and I could set it to slightly higher. Luckily, that was not an issue for me, but I'm sure there are people out there in the real world who don't necessarily time their breath to speech ratio. I know, weird. Something I found quite useful while recording my introductory demo was the custom vocabulary feature, which allows you to define custom terms such as names or technical jargon, or in my case, the name of my company, Gladia. And with this feature, you can make sure that those custom terms, names, whatever they are, are consistently detected and transcribed correctly throughout the session. Similarly, you can define custom spelling for words that are spelled in a particular way uh, that is not necessarily the standard one. For example, in my mini demo, I used the custom spelling feature to tell Gladia to uh, spell the word playground with a capital P, which it wouldn't have uh, naturally done otherwise. Another new feature that we are very excited about is partial transcripts or partials. This feature allows you to see an immediate low latency transcript while someone is speaking before the finalized version of the utterance is ready. This essentially delivers faster results that are less accurate than the final transcript, but it is particularly useful for real-time voice applications where getting that input as fast as you can so that you can have a conversational response is key. 
finally we get to my two most favorite features. Why are they my favorite? Because they are visual and easy to demo. So first up we have named entity recognition. With uh, this feature enabled, uh, what you will get into transcript is that Gladia will recognize and label accordingly certain named entities, such as names, locations, dates, etc. So if you were wondering in the beginning why I had to tell you that I'm recording from Paris and, and the date I'm recording, it was for the purpose of showing you this. And then finally, we have sentiment analysis, which essentially detects and shows you the change in tone and, and uh, positive versus negative sentiment of, of the speaker as input is received. This can be particularly useful for customer call analytics. As I said in the beginning of the video, all of these features and more are available to test for free for up to 10 hours per month on our playground. One that I didn't get to show you, but that I really encourage you to try is the live translation feature, which generates on screen in real time, uh, direct translations of your audio input into a target language. But before I go, a couple of things to highlight, something that is very neat is that once you have configured your real time transcription the way you want it with the, the add on features that you want. What you can also do is you can export these configurations either as a JSON file or directly in the target uh, language of your choice so that you can keep testing Gladia directly in your ID of choice. Finally, in live transcriptions, you can also check out the log sidebar and review your logs in real time. And finally, finally, you can also check out our new usage page where you can track your API uh, usage. There you go. You should now have everything you need in order to start playing with the playground and building on Gladia. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider letting us know in the comments below which one was your favorite feature and if you have any questions about using Gladius Playground.